Hey everybody, it's Mr. Nordhausen coming to you live from the home studio with another Nisma snare drum solo. This time it is the Conquering Legions of Rome, let me zoom in here, by the legendary rudimental snare drummer himself, Mr. John S. Pratt, known as Jack Pratt to his friends and family. Uh, John, or Jack if you will, was born in Seneca Falls, a local man here since I'm in Rochester, New York. So John was born in 1931 in Seneca Falls, New York, and has had a storied history of military and drum corps uh, drumming and instructing. He has performed with and taught and written for more drum corps than I can count. He was also in the West Point Military Academy Band and uh, in the Army for over 20 years until he retired. And when he retired from that year, uh, those years of service, he moved on to become an English teacher in New Jersey and lived in the New York City, New Jersey area for the rest of his life. And unfortunately, he just recently passed away about one month ago. So he lived an incredibly long, fulfilling life uh, and gave us a plethora of drum knowledge and repertoire from which to play. Um, he's written several method books and rudimental books and solo books and um, I've even had a couple friends that had the great fortune of either playing with him or playing for him or even studying with him. Um, I myself never got a chance to meet him but I've heard many stories and he just seems like he was an unbelievably awesome and uh, caring man and certainly gave a lot to the world of percussion and will uh, surely be missed. But let's get to it today, the Conquering Legions of Rome, shall we? This is a Nisma Level 5 solo, so it's up there. It's got some skill and some talent that are going to be needed. It's also three pages long, so you're going to have some stamina that's required to get through this piece here. Um, in particular, I hope you like the drag rudiments because that is exactly what this is full of. This is all about executing every single drag rudiment known to man uh, and lots of great rolls and it's easy to get tripped up in here because of its length and because visually it tends to blend together. So you're going to want to spend some time practicing this and really getting not necessarily memorized but familiar enough with it that it's on the verge of being memorized because reading it straight through can be quite challenging. Um, there are limited dynamics as is the case with a lot of rudimental drumming but there are rudiments or I'm sorry dynamics in here nonetheless so please be careful to uh, to execute the crescendos and uh, and other dynamics that are written in here. Um, what else? Oh check it out at the end here it's got the list of which rudiments were in here um, and yeah this is just a fantastic solo I'm gonna do one video of me performing it slowly um, and then we'll do another performance video where I play it at the 110 metronome marking okay so let's give it a try here the conquering legions of Rome by the world famous and recently departed mr. John S Pratt here we go all right, and we are back with The Conquering Legions of Rome by John S. Pratt, Nisma Level 5 Snare Drum Solo. I've got my metronome set at quarter note equals 76. Uh, I, I think that's a good way to, a um, uh, good tempo rather, to start practicing at. And even though I'm about to start at the beginning and play all the way to the end, I highly recommend as you're learning this, you break it down in sections. Um, conveniently, I'd follow the letters. So work on A to B. Then work on B to C. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to do A all the way to C. And break it apart in chunks like that, and you're going to find yourself to get much quicker results um, and better results. You're going to learn it better. You're going to continuously play over the same sections, which is only going to help to reinforce what you've already learned. So I highly recommend that model of learning and practicing. But for now, I'm going to set that quarter note equal 76 on my metronome. I'll start at the beginning, and I will play until the end. Here we go. One, two, one, and two.
Happy practicing. <laughs>